First and foremost, you're going to notice I'm wearing my Golden Girls shirt today. This is out of deep respect and a tribute to Rue McClanahan, who you might remember as the slutty one on Golden Girls, who passed away yesterday, so let's have a moment of silence for her. the risk of sounding redundant and giving you a bunch of stuff you've already got, I'm going to take this week's topic and put my own twist on it. I am going to tell some stories instead of repeating what everybody else has just said. It's the joy of being Friday. So what I'm going to do is tell you about my parents and my partner's parents and how we told them and how they reacted. So when I was 15, I went through this really weird rebellious stage where I cut off all my hair, total dyke spike, and dyed it pink. Now really, I was a good kid, I was still getting good grades, I wasn't doing drugs, I wasn't even drinking. But of course, this was a cause for alarm for my parents, who promptly sent me to therapy. Now, part of therapy was family therapy, and one day, my therapist was really awful, she had this, like, hook eyebrow, but she was asking me just a whole slew of questions, and she got to sexuality, to which I replied, I like boys and girls. Now, I knew... I kind of knew that I was gay, but there wasn't really a word for it for me. I did have one friend who was bisexual, so I thought that made sense for me at the time. Never brought up again. Never. So it wasn't until I started dating my current girlfriend that um, I was in a serious relationship, so I wanted to remind them about what I had said. Turns out they didn't really remember and must have repressed that down somewhere deep. But I told them both separately and they both reacted good. My mom immediately assumes the role of proud gay parent. I think she thinks it's so cool to tell people that she has a gay daughter. She just relishes in it. My dad, I took him out to dinner with my girlfriend, and then I called him after and told him, and he said, of course, I love you no matter what. So really, my coming out story is not dramatic. It, was, it went really well for me. I think my girlfriend's story is funnier. She was not exactly on the fast track with her parents. It, she knew that they knew and just thought it was kind of awkward to bring it up, which it kind of is, you know? And honestly, as her girlfriend, I didn't really care. I loved her, she loved me, her family loved me, and I knew that they knew. So it wasn't like, you know, it is kind of weird to sit your parents down and be like, hey, you already know this, but I'm totally gay, and so-and-so is my partner. So, didn't bother me. But about a little over one and a half years into our relationship, we moved cross country and we went at two different times because I was finishing up school and she went with her mom. And her mom was great, so it was a great bonding experience for them. And they were out for a steak dinner one night on the road and Katie was eating and drinking wine and all of a sudden, her mom just goes, so when are you gonna tell me? And Katie said she nearly choked on her steak and wine almost came out of her nose. And she was like, right now, I guess. <laughs> the best part is so her mom tells her the story and she goes, well, when you were two years old, I brought you into, there's just animals flying out. <laughs> so my girlfriend was younger, maybe two or three, and her mom had brought her to Boston to see something and it just happened to be the same weekend as Gay Pride. So of course, Katie wants to stop and look at the I mean, you're two years old, there's rainbows, there's people dancing, there's music, it's an awesome parade. She wants to stop and watch, and her mom's friend goes, you know, should we, should we stay here, should we let her see this? And her mom goes to her friend, I have a feeling about this one, I can't get her into a dress or tights for the life of me. So her mom said she knew since she was like two or three years old. So those are kind of our fun stories. Um, I figured you heard enough of everything from one of the... I figured that you heard enough of everything from everybody else. Um, if you want more info, I do have a video about coming out that kind of addresses those issues a little more and what I think about that. My mantra is basically, no matter what, I am who I am, and if you don't accept me for that, then you can go screw yourself, if you're wondering. The synopsis, so you don't have to go watch that. This weekend is Pride Weekend here in Salt Lake City so pathetic compared to the other prides I've been to, but it's always fun to have one weekend to just be super gay. And I hope everybody has a good weekend. I'll see you next week.